Good morning, T-Wolves. I'm Eli. And I'm Brendan. And this is T-Wolf TV for Friday, March 16th. T-Wolves, did you know that the average yearly salary for computer coders in Utah is $80,000? And there, are, there aren't enough people living in Utah to fill all the positions available. Here's a short video about Code to Success. Utah is in a unique position where we're going to start bleeding out more jobs than we're taking in. We need experts. Nine weeks in the summer with a group of like-minded kids is something that I, I don't know if you could put a dollar, like how valuable that is. This is a completely immersive experience. What matters is how much keyboard time do you have, how much practice have you had. This is a professional grade curriculum. These are the types of features that the actual hiring managers all across the country are looking for. It's something that they should get better than I think any generation before them. You'll have access to all of the resources you need in order to succeed. It's not just about the coding. I've been offered internships. I've had a practice interview. They gave us a free account for Pluralsight. It's been very valuable, just having all these resources open to me. I'm actually learning. I understand what I'm doing. I'm able to put it into use. Whoever works the hardest on the right things is the person that's going to succeed. Seeing what like you built and like actually like taking it in, it's, it's really cool. I just made this project and it just is like mind blowing. I am building a garage door opener that will tweet at me every time my garage door opens or closes. I mean, seeing something work, that's like the best feeling. The fact that I can just write these line of codes and it'll just show me something, you know? Well, that's, I find that so cool. We also have mentors come in. It's really cool getting to interact with a professional software engineer. It's about collaborating with people and sharing ideas. It taught me how to commit to something difficult. Come every day, um, stay on task, and you got to stay with it to the end. If you go out and you learn from the right sources and you're in the right environment, then you're going to be putting yourself in the best position possible. Programming is advancing and in many years there will be positions that, that aren't even available yet. There should be more people in code in general, especially women. It represents a way to pay for college, a steady job, being able to like learn something I want to learn and do what I want to do. It will be hard, but you have to do the hard things in life if you want to succeed. If you'd like to learn more, you can attend the Code to Success Parent Meeting on March 22nd in the Orem High School Media Center at 6 o'clock p.m. More information is available in the Counseling Center. Seniors, today is the last day to sign up if you want to perform in the Senior Standoff Assembly. Come to Ms. Herrick's room, room 700, to sign up. Wednesday was the nationwide walkout honoring the 17 students who lost their lives in Florida. Many students from THS also participated in the 17-minute walkout. T-Wolf TV's Riley McAllister was there and brings us the story. I'm Riley McAllister with T-Wolf TV and today we're asking people what they're doing out here for this walkout. So what is your purpose for being out here today? Well, I think that this is how they express their freedom of speech and this is how I express mine. So my opinion is walking out, this doesn't do anything. What is this solving? 17 minutes for, I know, the lives that are lost, it's so sad, but they're promoting gun control and gun laws, which makes no sense. More guns the answer, arm our teachers. Trump 2020, keep America great again. So what is your purpose for being out here today? Um, to show that we should have more stricter gun rules and everything and to honor those who sadly died in the Florida shooting. Um, well, first of all, I would say this, that one of the things these students are doing is they're exercising their right to free speech. And the one thing we have to do is be able to let students express their views, whether it's students who are pro-gun or students who are you know, pro-gun control, it doesn't really matter. That's the whole thing is we got to have a good civil debate. If you can't have a good civil debate, this is, it doesn't matter. So good civil debate, that's what it's all about. I think those are great comments from Mr. Olson. And I love seeing the, all the students here because really a change happens at the grassroots 
And the power does rest with the people. And we need that more than ever. So right on, guys. Good job. And yeah. it's a chance for us to stop for a moment and remember those wonderful 17 kids, high school kids with lives that lost their lives. I mean, we need to stop and, and honor them too. Yeah, G good job. I'm not necessarily against anti, I'm not really against guns. I'm just more like wanting Congress to do something, you know. I feel like they're kind of just pushing it to the side for now. and They just got to do something, you know. So, yeah. Sweet, thank you so much. What's your purpose for being out here today? Um, I just really think that it's important that we realize how um, gun violence can like affect people's lives. And I just came out here today not to have like get out of class, but to show like I do care about gun violence and what happened in Florida. Um, to stand up for gun control and the people who died. Uh, mainly just for gun reform because it's too easy to get guns and in memorial of all the people that have ever been killed from gun violence, not including, I mean, especially school shootings, but that's not just it. Anything that's injustice about guns is what I'm here for. <laughs> all right, thanks guys. So what do you think about the walkout? Uh, it's it's interesting, you know, I mean, there's obviously, uh, it's a position or a, an issue that has passionate people on both sides and uh, it's an important thing to be able to voice your opinion so all right thank you, you bet. i'm riley McAllister, and we got some great comments today thank you all who for who participated in this walkout today is the last day to bring stuff for pack easter baskets we are collecting items such as play-doh silly putty nail polish and bubbles for children at primary children's hospital for more details visit the out list outside the pack room room 206 bring items during to the commons during lunch Good luck to our spring sports teams today. Baseball travels to St. George for the Red Rocks tournament. Softball is at Lone Peak. Boys soccer takes on Spanish Fork here at THS. Boys tennis travels to Juan Diego. And the track team hosts the Alpha Invitational tomorrow here at Timpanogos. Lots of sports to pick from. Grab your friends and come out to support the teams. Go T-Wolves! For T-Wolf TV, I'm Eli. And I'm Brendan. Remember, T-Wolves, we, we love, love you all. You